Hi everyone, it's Justin. You often ask me what I wear, what my style looks like. So I film outfits for a typical week in my life for you. You will see that I dress based on the agenda of the day. It's very pragmatic. And I couldn't film every day during one week. So this video was actually filmed over the course of two weeks. That explain why here and there you will see some pretty summer-like outfits because the weather just kept getting better and better. I filmed each outfit in a different location in Berlin, a place that I like. So you will get impressions of the city at the same time. Let's go. Monday is my organization day. I want to try to get all the little things on my to-do list out of the way for the rest of the week. I try to have all my meetings via video conference so I don't have to go anywhere and I save time. I can do more in one day. On Monday, I want to be as comfortable as I only can. So I typically wear dark jeans with stretch in them, so it's more comfortable. A knitted jersey top. This one is great because the back is longer and I have a long torso, so I can be seated and I don't feel the wind in my back <laughs> between the top and the pants. And then flats in which I can walk kilometers. On top of that, if it was a bit colder than this, I would add a scarf, which would be probably black or golden. This outfit works for basically everyone. You can just make variations in the length of the pants and the cut, the shape of the bottom, right? You can do um, a bit skinny like I did, or you can go wider and wider or straight, depending on what you prefer for your body type. Typically here, my pants are seven eighths. They're not full length. It's something that makes your leg appear a bit shorter and my legs, I find them short already. So smarter to elongate the legs would be go full length or add heels. But on Mondays, I really just want to wear my flats. In terms of color palette, it's very minimal, navy blue and black. So to pimp that up a little bit, I added a golden necklace that, no, a statement, <laughs> one that you notice, and then golden shoes. They also catch the sunlight so nicely, so they really shine when it's sunny outside. Tuesday is probably the day of the week when I want and need to look good <laughs> because I'm filming videos for you, because I'm taking pictures from my Instagram, because I'm giving interviews. There are several reasons why I will be recording on Tuesdays. So I want to make an effort and I enjoy styling myself up a little bit, but it's spring, so I want to be casual and relaxed at the same time. This Tuesday, I was wearing those navy blue woven, very lightweight pants with a belt. So it looks chic. It's not like I'm wearing pyjama pants or, or two casual jersey trousers that's woven. Then a knitted top. That one is a staple. You can own it in five different colors. You can layer whatever you want on top. It's very practical. A cardigan or anything if it gets cooler. And then I was wearing minimal white stylish sandals, which I love. This will be flattering on you if you have regular or maybe rather narrow hips. If your hips are your widest point, if you're a pair like me, then you need to feel comfortable drawing attention onto that area because the fabric is so light and it's just one layer. You don't have pockets or seams or anything. So the fabric really moves with you. You need to be comfortable showing um, that part of you. And also when I wear these pants, there are no pockets at the back. So before I leave the house, I always do a mirror check from the back to make sure I don't show an underwear line. In terms of color palette, it's blue on blue on white. So it's very harmonious to the eye. It's actually monochromatic. It's cool, but it still gives a clear impression of spring. Wednesday is my business day, my formal day, my most dressed up day of the week. That black tutu skirt makes your legs appear thinner and your waist as well because it adds so much volume around the hips. It also turns when you turn, which I love. And the texture is great too because it's so much fabric layered. I love a tutu skirt, long or short. With this one, I wore a silky top and a blazer on top because it was pretty cool on that day and a blazer styles anything up anyways. This type of silhouette is great to accentuate your hips. It makes my legs appear a bit shorter because I'm wearing it low waist to try to cover up a little bit because I'm tall. So I paired that with heels, but it will actually work with flats as well. In terms of color palettes, I tried something. You know, I don't wear orange, actually. 
this is not orange. I don't know if you see it right depending on your screen, but it's a warm brown. So it's pretty close to orange and that's in the risky zone for me. It makes me look very pale. So what I did to make it work is that I broke it, I tuned it down with the navy, completely neutral for me, a very cool color, navy jacket on top. And I kept it very far away from my face right because otherwise it clashes and next to my face the color that you see is actually the red of the lipstick so technically i'm wearing orange which i never do and i combine orange and red in the same outfit Whew. but i think it works thursday is different every week on that thursday i felt like wearing black and i was organizing and moving things in my studio so i wanted to feel comfortable i went for all knits <laughs> the dress and the leggings everything is stretch as hell <laughs> the dress is very short it's not one that i would wear without leggings or pants underneath i would feel completely naked i would probably be even standing <laughs> but this way i feel it's pretty chic it exploits the full length of my leg which is always good and i paired that with a white belt turning twice around my waist it's a different texture a different um, way of shining with the light it helps mark the waist it pimps up everything even though it's black on black this outfit makes you look long and lean because it's all in one color especially if you leave your hair open and you stretch down everything as i did and especially especially if you add platform sandals you're just adding pure height I like to wear black on black, I don't mind, but you could have used that belt otherwise to set an accent of color. Maybe match the belt with the shoes, color-wise. My shoes are very colorful, so it's not like I'm wearing all black after all. It feels like spring and it feels like good mood. If I have a second day full of meetings during a week, I will make sure that it's on a Friday and group everything on a Friday. There I was very close to a place where you can still see a part of the wall of Berlin. So that's what you see here together with the look. The wall is exactly where you were standing and the blue sky is a um, bonus. <laughs> I was wearing a t-shirt and a skirt by my label, Justine Lecomte, um, paired with a beige cardigan because, you know, in spring, it's cooled, it's warm, it's cold, it's warm, it changes 15 times within one day. So layering is always a good option. Also the top, the t-shirt is very lightweight, silky and flowy, while the skirt is in heavier jacquard fabric. So it weights more and it will stay in place. I think it always looks very chic when the top and the bottom have different weights because then they move differently with you, which you can see very well because it was super windy on that day. A long cardigan worn open like this will make you look longer, which is an effect I look for. But I still didn't want it to be longer, to fall longer than the hem of the skirt because I want to maintain that spring feeling and free up my legs. It's again a very harmonious color palette. You know, light colors attract sunlight and reflect it around you a lot better than dark colors. So after winter, I want to catch and reflect all the light I can. I'm naturally attracted to lighter colors. I try not to work on Saturday, <laughs> but I will be out and about running errands or visiting a museum or a gallery. There are many great, great galleries and museums in the street where we shot that look, Auguststrasse. If you get a chance to visit Berlin, have a look there. It's one of my favorite streets in the entire city. Here I was wearing a basic t-shirt, black, super simple. That's another staple. For your wardrobe and i pimped that up a little bit with the necklace with a pendant that i designed and then a cool skirt this one is woven it has a huge waistband it's great to highlight your waist because of the cut of it because you have so much um, space and fabric here around the natural waist and the color helps increase the effect it's very comfortable even though it's woven so it's not stretchy because it's almost like a peg skirt you have so much extra space because of those folds around the hips so it's extremely comfortable it gives me a completely different silhouette for a change you see that from the side very well can we talk about the color palette did you notice that the skirt and the shoes have the same three colors very unlikely to happen i was quite happy when i found this skirt given that i had the shoes first <laughs> when i saw the skirt i jumped on it and then there's no outfit for sunday <laughs> sunday is a day where i don't care about the way i look it's my break i will um go for a brunch and then i will start replying to your comments when the new video goes live so right now 
I'm commenting if you want to comment something. And um, I might also prepare topics for future videos, organize my to-do list for the following week, do some planning, etc. But mostly Sunday is YouTube day. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. It was definitely fun to film, at least. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also to click on that notification bell to get the information when I upload a new video. I will see you in the next one. And until then, take care.